All right, we got some news coming out of boxing. Anthony Joshua says he's not here to be friends with anyone. He did a recent interview, got an upcoming fight with Daniel Dubois for the IBF title. And he had to say, quote, I've always been that way. That is what I feel. People don't really understand what it's like to do our job. It's a very unique job. The glitz and glamour of it is very unique. But when you strip it down to the core, let's just say you're going to get two men to stand up in front of the ring and fight for 47 minutes. A lot of people couldn't fight for two minutes. Start the clock and try. Try to throw punches for two minutes, which that is true, honestly. You know, and just me briefly doing boxing growing up, uh, but also wrestling, you know, so... I get it. Uh, we're going to do 47 minutes. So, yeah, people couldn't really grasp it. I'm not here to be friends with anyone. And that's the part I really want to focus on. See, Anthony Joshua was the media darling of boxing. He was the golden goose. He was the golden goose. It all started when he won the gold, gold Olympic gold medal in the 2012 London Olympics. And he's from there, even though that was controversial. But then, you know, he signed with Eddie Hearn and they carefully put him on the path. But once he fought Dillian White and beat Dillian White in 2015, he was on a trajectory from there. And then he fought Charles Martin in Brazil. He was very carefully crafted. You know, he, he wouldn't fight Wilder, even though, you know, we were robbed of that fight, us fans. But, you know, he, you know, the Tockums and the Joseph Parkers and he became everybody wanted to be near Joshua. Joshua had all the endorsements. He had Under Armour endorsements, which is unheard of. You know, he was uh, an endorser, I believe, for British Airlines. He made the most money one year as far as like being the most one of the most marketable athletes. But the thing about boxing is when he lost to Amy Ruiz, people started, you know, you heard rumblings, but. You know, uh, Eddie and him still figured out how to cover it up. But once he lost to Usyk, not once, but twice, that diminished his career to a, to a certain point. And those fans, the casual fans who was making fun of Wilder and all of that, they turned on Anthony Joshua, too, and started saying he was overrated and Usyk and Tyson Fury was better. But at one point, people, people were more fans of Joshua than Tyson Fury, even though Joshua collected all the belts that Tyson Fury ended up giving up when he when he uh, took those couple of years off. So Joshua seen it, and then he had that meltdown that second time in the ring and was going off, and fans was laughing at him. Oh, oh did he lose his mind? Did he come back? Right, he comes back and he fights uh, 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 Jermaine Franklin, Robert Hellenius. He ended up getting with uh, Derek James, and then he just knocked out Francis Ngannou, who you know you haven't heard nothing else about him. Ever since that, that fight, uh, what fight only lasted a few, a couple of seconds. So he's seen you people say, "Oh man, you can tell he on demon time." No, he's seen how flaky it is, man. It ain't no friends in this. It ain't no friends in this. Even even with Devin Haney, right? Devin Haney had a whole bunch of people that was with him, but the moment he lost, you saw people turn on him and don't care that Ryan Garcia was on performance enhancements. So. Josh, yeah, it ain't no friends in this game. It's not. It's really not. And Josh will finally seeing it. He's seeing the, these fake friends. I mean, these fake fans of his. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Uh, he got to say an uh, upcoming fight on uh, September 21st. And tell me what y'all think.